Hello YouTube, Prime here from the Autograph Stash. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Who wants a mustache ride? Fun, fun. Now I know it's been a long time and some of you may have thought that I was kind of forget about you guys. Not happening. Now you want to talk about graphs like I ain't got none. What you think I sold them all? Oh, what's that? Why, it, I did sell a few? Oh, okay. Well then that's fair. One of the things I wanted to do a little bit different this time around when I started making videos again was to change them up a little bit. You see, I wanted to make some videos about the actual autograph process. Um, kind of like the whole behind the scenes of collecting. So of course I'll be showing you, you know, what I'm sending out, but um, I'm going to take you a little bit into my world here. And you're going to see a lot more behind the scenes action. Whether you want to or not, it's going to happen. And we're really going to like focus on like what it's like to be an autograph collector and go from there. So it's been a long time since I posted a video. It's actually been since October. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of okay with that. I needed a break. I got really burnt out. I was just sending out too much crap, to be honest with you. I really kind of lost care of the whole reason why I started doing autographing. Uh, to kind of reach out to the people that I was impressed by, or I thought they did something awesome, or they were part of something which I really enjoyed. And I just started going to, hey, who can I get a response back? And it was great because I got a, a lot of responses back, but at the same time, it, it really took the fun out of it. And having this time off, not sending out any autographs, and not making any videos, has really given me some time to kind of reflect and realize, hey, you know, there were some good things about the hobby and I want to get back into it. So I'm coming back. What do you think about that, Godzilla? Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I scare you? Come here. You show the internet that we're not scared of nothing. Right, Mr. Tickle Bigglesworth? This week in autograph related news, uh, voice actor and actor Earl Hyman is not signing autographs right now. Um, in case you don't know who he is, he did play a character on The Cosby Show. Um, I think he played a father to someone, I'm not quite sure. I think it was maybe the oldest brother. I, I don't really recall. Uh, I just remember a lot of sweaters on that show. But anyways, back to Earl. Um, Earl was known to me as uh, the voice of Panthro uh, from the Thundercats. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Oh! And it's really sad to hear this, uh, but in the request that I sent out, I did get a, a small statement back saying that uh, due to his poor health, he is not signing right now. Uh, but he would like to hear from his fans and there's an address that you can send to. I'm going to go ahead and put the address down below. If you guys enjoyed Thundercats growing up as a kid or maybe if you watched the Cosby show and you actually knew who the, his character was, then yes, drop this guy a line. It's just one stamp to let someone know, you know that they meant something to you or they, they improved your quality of life somehow. For me, I remember watching Thundercats all the time as a kid and then as an adult too so i'm definitely going to be dropping him a line just letting him know i want to drop him a line oh all right so i got my ed asner photo all set up through photoshop i have my uh, letter written 
and I'm ready to print it out and get this one sent out. So now I have my letter, I have my ink, um, I've got everything I've, I'm going to need. Nothing's going to stop me now. Nothing's going to stop me now. Yeah. Because if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. Nothing's going to stop us now. All right, so the first one turned out pretty good there. I'm, I'm happy with it. It'll have a nice uh, spot to sign there. And so I'm pretty much ready to, to send this bad boy off. There's just one thing that doesn't quite feel right. There's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. Um, and I just haven't got around to it yet. And I feel pretty bad about it. So I'm going to get started on that right now. So I've got my Ed Asner photo printed out on ink, f***ing finally, and I'm feeling good about that, but before I send it out, there's something I have to do. Um, I'm not really feeling good about my actions in the community, you know, inside the autograph community right now, because somebody wrote to me a while ago, uh, they were a fan of the show, I hope they still are, <laughs> um, and... Henry, dude, I just dropped the ball. I, I hadn't got back to you, and I do feel bad about it. Um, you were you sent me a letter just kind of as I was I was phasing out, as I was getting ready to take my break from autograph collecting, and so I, I've had the information here, and this is just an excuse, right? And I feel bad for it, but I'm gonna make things right. Right now, I'm sending you a letter. I got to get back to square one with the community, make things right before I feel comfortable sending out anything to anybody else. All right, so on to what I actually got back. This is the part you've been waiting for. So I want to first start off with a huge success. So when you guys see that, you know it's going to be one of my laser discs. I love my laser disc. Yes. And this one came back and it is signed by Michael Jordan. Uh, wait, no, that's not true. But it is Space Jam, and this is signed by Tyrone Bugsy Bogues. Um, he writes, Go Space Jam in Silver Sharpie. This turned out great. I'm really happy to have this in. Let's see if I can get that all on one page for you there. So, super stoked. Um, you gotta love Laserdisc, they just have the awesome artwork to them. He did also um, send in this very, very generic letter. Dear fan, thank you so much for being a supportive fan. Without you, I would not be where I am. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to write me. <laughs> he has no idea what I do. I enjoy reading each and every letter and have enclosed signed memorabilia for you. If you're really interested in learning more about me, basketball, and my camps, check out my website become my Facebook friend, or follow me on Twitter. And then he gives us information. Uh, I, either way though, that was really cool. To be honest with you, I had sent that out a very long time ago. And I kind of thought that Muggsy Bugs stole my laser disc cover. So I feel kind of bad now, but think of that. Anyways, uh, I don't know why the heck he would do that anyways. 
Uh, I got some other good autographs here I want to talk about. Um, Damian Clark. You know, he is the voice for Handsome Jack in Borderlands 2. One of my favorite video game characters. Uh, he nailed that part. If you haven't played Borderlands or Borderlands 2, you totally should. That game is awesome. And there's going to be a new game coming out from Telltale Games about Borderlands, and it's going to feature Handsome Jack, which is awesome. Um, and he put uh, a super awesome quote. Uh, it relates to the game, so if you haven't played the game, it's going to be over your head there. Next one I got back from Peter Billingsley. Uh, no, he plays Ralphie in The Christmas Story. Now, I sent this out in February of 2012. So, kids, it's like they say, you never give up on your autograph uh, request. If you send it out, chances are it could come back someday, so don't, don't forget those. He signed everything I sent him. You can see one of the first custom cards I sent out to him. Um, I haven't made them like that in a very long time. Uh, next one I have is another Borderlands 2 success. This one is from Sue Birch. Um, now her character in this game is super limited. Like she only had a few lines. Um, she was big in the first game, but in Borderlands 2 really didn't get much time before Handsome Jack axed her. Um, so you better ax somebody. Up next, uh, Chandrella Avery. This came as a surprise. Seriously, like, left field. I wrote her, and I got a response back months ago. She signed two out of the three items that I sent her. The one thing that she didn't sign, I got back around Thanksgiving. And it said, Happy Holidays. And so she, I don't know, maybe she lost it, or... I don't know. Maybe she just wanted to tell me Happy Thanksgiving, which is super awesome. Uh, and then the last one I have is from Christopher Sullivan. Now, if that name if that name doesn't ring a bell, it's because he's a voice actor and he's only done like some video game stuff. Uh, if you can't tell, there's kind of a theme to the stuff I have in, in this collection here. It's mostly video game stuff, uh, but one of my favorite games for the Sega Dreamcast is called Skies of Arcadia. And uh, Christopher Sullivan did the main voice for the character Vice, um, who's like this kid, and he's like a space sky pirate. It's really awesome. And he sent me this great letter back, and one of the things that he told me in the letter was to be on the lookout for uh, Vice maybe making a special appearance in the Sega All-Stars racing game. Uh, and I picked that up on the Wii U. And it took me forever to unlock his character, but it was really cool when I did. I'm so happy with all the responses I got back. I, I can't wait to see what, what comes in next. You know what I mean? All right, gang, that does it for this week's episode. You guys take care and have a good one.